Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Iran has denied reports claiming that 12 Su-35 flanker fighter jets would be delivered to the country next week. These reports, initially circulated in Iranian media, reference the country's official student news network, SNN, affiliated with the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. However, SNN later retracted the report, labeling it as false. This isn't the first instance where Iran has anticipated the delivery of these aircraft prematurely. Back in January 2023, an Iranian official mentioned that the Su-35 fighter jets were expected to arrive in March, coinciding with the Iranian New Year. Nonetheless, the possibility of Iran receiving 34 Sukhoi Su-35 fighters is reinforced by the finalization of negotiations on November 28, 2023. Iran concluded discussions initiated in 2015 for the acquisition of various Russian aircraft, including Milmi-28 attack helicopters, Sukhoi Su-35 fighters, and Yak-130 training aircraft. Sardar Syed Mehdi Farhi, Deputy Minister of Defense and Support for the Armed Forces of the Islamic Republic of Iran, confirmed the conclusion of these negotiations. The delivery of Yak-130 training aircraft in September 2023, part of the aforementioned deal with Russia, suggests that the arrival of the Su-35s might be imminent. Previous agreements, involving different types of aircraft, have already begun to be fulfilled, indicating that the Su-35 fighters could be next in line for delivery. The Iranian Air Force, officially known as the Air Force of the Islamic Republic of Iran, possesses a diverse array of fighter jets, primarily acquired before international sanctions impeded the modernization of its air fleet. Notable among these are the F-14 Tomcats, obtained from the United States prior to the Islamic Revolution of 1979. Additionally, the fleet includes MiG-29 Fulcrums, acquired in the 1990s post the Soviet Union's dissolution, and Sukhoi Su-24 tactical bombers procured during the same period. Relics from the pre-revolutionary era, such as the F-4 Phantom II and F-5 Tiger II, serve in various capacities like strike, reconnaissance, and light attack missions. The Iranian Air Force also operates 24 Iraqi Mirage F-1 fighter jets, which arrived in Iran following the conclusion of the Gulf War in 1991. This eclectic mix underscores the challenges Iran faces in maintaining its air capability amidst international restrictions. Technically, the Sukhoi Su-35, classified as a fourth-generation multi-role fighter, represents an evolution of the Su-27 flanker model. Renowned for its advanced avionics, radar, and weaponry, the Su-35 is designed for long-range air-to-air and air-to-ground missions, boasting a maximum speed of Mach 2.25, a service ceiling of 20,000 meters, and an operational range of 3,600 kilometers. Its AESA, Active Electronically Scanned Array, radar enables the Su-35 to track and engage multiple targets simultaneously, augmenting its situational awareness and combat effectiveness. Armed with a diverse array of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles, including the R-77AA-12 Adder, air-to-air -air missile, KH-31, AS-17 Krypton, anti-ship missile, and KH-59, AS-18 Kazoo, standoff missile, the Su-35 demonstrates adaptability to various mission requirements. Having proven its capabilities in combat operations in Syria and being exported to several nations, the Su-35 is esteemed for its functional role in the Russian Air Force. That's all for now, see you later.